What? I saw some dialogue pop up here, and I see he's got a quest complete? Is that something about New Journal Entry King something? I think I may have gotten a new quest, perhaps? It's just what you get when weaklings get in their way. Act 1. Some people simply don't have the guts to make tough decisions. I told Costas and Maria I was ready to head out with a full task force at dust. It's what I do to find people, although we usually destroy them. They made me wait, and now we stand without a prince. Lucky for them, I'm still around. The only one who can keep the unruly ones in check. I'm ready to set them straight or put them out. The others have learned their lesson. Kirill knows what he's talking about, and they better no longer stand in my way. This is my domain. Dobry den. Thanks to the Anarchs, the second inquisition is upon us, and the mortals are trying to eradicate us once again. But we need to know more uh, before we strike back. Head the bridge by the sky bar to see if we can find a way out of the city. Get close to the entity northwest of sky bar. I think I got a new quest triggered. Well, that's why I was randomly talking to people in between. Damage report, I did. I got a new quest line. Well, that was worth it. Just rando talking to people triggered it. Yeah, Kira is trying to piece together information about the entity to predict their next move. That's the AI I just slaughtered in the last match. To find where the entity troops are stationed in Prague. Get close to the entity northwest of Skybar. Sneak up close to entities so you can observe their actions and report back to the um, Curie. Oh, that's cool. Well, I might as well look at this journal stuff while I'm doing this anyway. These are all locked. Oh, sure do, isn't it? How did I earn this? Oh, because I leveled up, I guess? The Clan of Divas. Beautiful and manipul manipulative. Life is short, art is eternal. It's famous aphorism from Bukritz describes the roses quite well for they are less artists than they are unliving works of art okay I was saying I have new lore when all this locked I supposed to the Trudeau thing I know well well here's where it talks about the art types At least it kind of long. I don't know if I want to go. Those probably should all just be their own video. At least I could quickly go through these. If you want to actually pause. Read. Oh, they're the Muse and Siren type class. That's what I was talking about. How did I earn that? I have no clue. Yeah, the Venture, the ones that I play the most as. That's where she got the win as. And forces disrupt the minds of their enemies, crippling and disabling them from using their usual. Superpowers. Wait, how? Oh, it's so when I force. Yeah, oh, rush forward, dealing moderate damage and silencing the enemies. Oh, this silences too, I forget about that. Well, silence the enemies are disabled from using their archetype clan and weapon powers. 
passive. Nearby enemies have their movement speed slowed as they remain close to the enforcer. This makes it easier to land attacks with other powers or catch up to enemies for both you and your teammates. Wait, that's why I was so good in melee. I was slowing them down. Holy crap. It's not that slow, though. People are still, like, basically disappearing in front of my face. Wow. The Venture is super strong. That's awesome. Anyway, so let's do a quickly, and then the character I'm talking about is this one. Oh, I just got the Sanguin with at level three. This is a, um, this seems like an amazing starting class. Although the hiding saboteur might be something too. Like all these will just fit the personal player's playstyle, but this one fits mine. Also, if you know the true power of the Sanguin that gives you auto health regen, crazy strong, crazy strong. But I got a new freaking quest, and it sounds cool. I may have already, like, spotted those guys, but, uh, gotta complete all the dailies. So I think that'll do it. And this one, I need to look into how this is done. If, if someone knows, leave a comment below. Because, like, I literally have, like, you can look at the one match that I won. Um, I'm not sure what I'll call that video, but it'll have something to do with, um, katanas. Like, it'll have something to do with first-time katana and katana play. It could be, like, Jedi Academy player, um, uh, you could say Katana, you know, Blood Alps, something like that. It's probably what I'll name it, just a hilarious title. Um, and yeah, they got freaking sorted apart, but I didn't get this. I don't remember ever shooting in that. But I did pick up guns, and it might be that you can't pick up any guns, and that's a little goofy. If that's true, because you start out with a pistol, that's insane. But I did die too, so that may have de facto funked it up. I don't know. I, I had to use the extra life revive. Because that, that last game, I got, like, so many extra lives. It was so funny. And then I was jacking extra lives from other people. It was so funny. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, if you like what you saw, please hit the like button. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And, uh, yeah, this is so weird. Why is... Like, some of these glitch. Pick up the item. I did pick up the item. Did I not? I did pick up the item. I did pick that sucker up. Which I do have a video of that as well. I just didn't survive the match, so I don't think he counted. That's sucky. I did pick that sucker up, but I mean, it may always be there on that person, or if, if it random spawns, it's rough. But I assume there's going to be a quest for it at some point, so I'll worry about it then. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, this is just a little thing that I just randomly did because I saw a new quest trigger, so I wanted to show you guys how that happened. I was just moving around and talking to people. And, uh, I just talked to that Krillis guy, however you say his name. Yeah, Kirk, Kirk Grell, this dude. Or he's supposed to be a sheriff of some sort. Season Revolutionary, Bruja, Primogen, and Sheriff of the Frog. Although Kirill is acting as a sort of Primogen, he is first and foremost the Sheriff of Prague. He used to spend his nights defending the city borders, but now he directs all his attention to the war against the most hated enemy. The Anarchs. Being born in Prague in the late 14th century, he knows the city better than anyone else. A short fuse and love for a good hunt have made him feared among anyone who can be considered an enemy of the well, Camarilla, the sheriff. After centuries of roaming the world with his group of revolutionaries, he decided to return to his hometown. He had lost most of his lions during the First World War and licked his wounds with becoming the feared scourge of the city, a new ruler down in down the line. He was promoted to the role of sheriff by the new prince, Karlak. They were both Bra Raja Raha, how do you say that, and became close allies. When Karlak had to step down, one of his demands to Marcus was that Kirik got to stay. Interesting. Prince 
Marcus honored the agreement and could prove to be a great asset in his struggle to keep both the Anarchs of Prague and any upset Parmawila members in check, although Kirill's primary go-to tactics are questionable. It has kept the city safe for a long time. Okay, there we go. I'll end up with that. This is mostly about him anyway. That's what I was talking to and got this new quest line. Damage report. So I'm supposed to find the entities which are like the cop, police, human people. And uh, take them out. Or assume they're human. I don't know what the frick they are. They call them entities, which is weird. Anyway, and they can now be one-shot killed, headshot killed with the sniper. Which that's new and makes total sense. If they are regular humans, they should be one-shotable. A player, if has full armor, will not be one shot. Without full armor, maybe. I still don't think so, but maybe. Anyway, may your tale eternally be retold.